not special. You was something special. You was something special, I could tell by when I met you. Seen good convos, but the wordplay kept it sexual. Intellectual, I was nervous when I stepped in. You told me what you ain't like and what's acceptable. Smell at me again. And my dog is here today, so I'm pretty sure he's going to drive me crazy. Look, I knew it. You don't, you can't be up here today. I'm sorry. Just for a few, give me a few minutes. I talk to my dog like, that's my best friend. But anyway, so I see you guys like the story times that I be doing. So I decided, Kenzo, you gotta get down, bro. I decided, let me do another story time today. Telling you about my past experiences and We'll see which one you probably like better. This one is like, this one is good too. It's just mad shocking though. Like, it was the weirdest thing ever, but it was mad funny. Like, you you really gonna probably think I'm lying, but I'm really not lying. I put that on my life. This really, really, really happened. Like, the things that happen in my life, you will be like, she gassing it. No, I'm dead ass. I'm really, I'm serious. Well, okay, here we go. So, it was this boy I used to talk to in 12th, yeah, from 12th grade. We used to have like two years or whatever. And uh, don't ask me why I was talking to him. Like, he was cool in the beginning. Like, he always had a crush on me, but for some reason, I just never liked him, so I never really paid him no mind. He used to always write me, and I used to just be like, all right, like, okay, I'm, I'm still not going to talk to you. But whatever, I think I was just over my ex-boyfriend at the time, around 12th grade, and I was like, let me just talk to somebody else that's, like, totally different. That's what I did. Let me tell you guys something, okay? The little quiet, little nice boys that... You just stay in the house and just good. Uh-uh. They are not good. They are just as fucking bad. I'm telling you. Just as bad. Probably even worse. They sneaky as fuck. Sneaky. Once we started talking, he just felt like he was the shit. And it was just like it was it was corny and it was like a turn off after a while, like you was just mad quiet, barely had friends. Like, now you're talking to me and think you could go talk to other people. Like, you used to try to talk to me ever since you met me years ago. And I ain't never paid you no mind. And you gonna treat me like this? That's what he got me fucked up. One day, we was at his house. Like, I used to go to his house all the time. Like, after, I, after school, then I was talking to him through college, too. Like, summer college. So after college, I used to go there also, we hang out all the time. Now, I I don't know, maybe it was like a glitch in the system, like with Apple and stuff, but it was a good glitch for me. Bad for him, but it was a good glitch for me. So I don't know if it was cause, like I was there, I went there often or whatever. So I used to sign into the Wi-Fi of the house. And, you know, once you sign in one time and you keep going to that same place, you just turn your Wi-Fi on, it automatically goes. So, that's what I used to do. Like, I used to just turn it on and it used to go and, like, it was, like, it is what it is at that point. One day, we sitting on his bed watching TV. I'm sitting on one side, he's sitting on the other side. I'm on Instagram, right? Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling looking through stuff, liking stuff. But then I realized my phone is acting mad stupid. So, you know how you like double click the screen so that you could like delete the apps out so you could start on fresh? Yo, that wasn't working. Then after that, I was like, all right, you know what? Like, I'm gonna turn my phone off. Turn my phone off, that ain't work. I'm like, bro, what is going on? Like, what's going on with my Instagram? So, then I turned the phone back on and I turn, I, um, I delete the Instagram app. Now, when I deleted the Instagram app, I just like um, re-downloaded it all over again. 
Mind you, I'm still connected to the Wi-Fi through all of this. I'm still connected to the Wi-Fi. So <laughs> now when I go to sign up through Instagram, right? Like on the Instagram app. You know how sometimes they got like signing through Facebook, signing through Google, like the Google email, whatever, like stupid things like that. So I press sign in through Facebook because like sometimes that's what I used to do, sign in through Facebook. I pressed sign in through Facebook. Y'all ready? I don't think y'all ready, right? Sign in through Facebook. Y'all probably think it's something crazy came up on the screen. No. No. Why I signed in through Facebook and I don't know how, but it signed me in through his Facebook and logged me into his Instagram. Not mine. It went to his. Now, I don't know how this happened because he never, ever, ever signed in through Facebook on my phone. So, I'm like, how would the password even get there, like, at this point? I have no clue. But when I tell you, I ain't say a word. I just sat there acting like nothing. Just keep. I'm like, oh, my Instagram working? I'm just looking, looking, looking. You don't know what's going on at all. I'm just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling now, hitting the DMs. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. I'm really on his Instagram. <laughs> and he's sitting right there. Thankfully, though, like, he wasn't writing nobody while, like, I was sitting right next to him. Because, like, I would have beat him up in there. Like, seriously, I would have beat him up in there. He was a little taller than me, but he was like this. Literally like this. Like this. I would have beat him up in there. Like, you, you don't even understand. I'm going through the Instagram and I'm like, this is not real. So I'm like, I'm not losing this information. So I saved it on my phone. So what I did was, what did I do? I think it's like when you get to log into multiple Instagrams and something like that. So I was still able to go in on mine, but I was still able to be on his and just press on it through Facebook. Well, I tell you, I had the password for moms, moms, like crazy, like, so I used to be, I, I started looking through the DMs because I'm like, he used to start acting funny and I'm like, he doing something. So what I would do is look through the DMs, see what I find and ask some questions about it later. Like, so who you talking to? Like, um... Who you was with yesterday and and oh what about this girl that be liking your pictures who's this why are you always like her pictures him just lying 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 not knowing i see what you're doing but now that i see what you're doing i'm gonna do what i want to bro this boy had no 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 clue i had even seen this girl i had went to high school with she was probably a year or two younger than us. She was even in his DM, like they was really talking. I'm like, yo, this ugly girl, are you kidding me? Like, seriously? <sighs> that was that was just a mess. But I just kept asking him like every couple days, every couple weeks. And I'm like, I'm not saying that because at the end of the day, I want this thing. I'm keeping it on my phone. I don't care about nothing. I'm going to keep asking questions, but I'm keeping it on my phone. Months went past. I like kept looking. Then I had to tell myself, like, Melanie, you have to stop looking. Like, you have to stop looking. But I couldn't stop myself. Like, I was just looking and look. Like, that was my job. Like, I used to be in class in college and scrolling through the thing, like, Okay, like as if it was my freaking Instagram. Like I'm so lucky I never even posted on the page by mistake. So now he had started working at some other job and like I had knew he was talking to some girls there, but I had no proof. Let me tell you, 
I found out all the tea. Like, it was even, like, the boys. Like, the boys talking about the girls. Like, saying how the girls are slides and posting this video. I was like, oh, my God. My God. So, I never told him about it. I just left it alone. Because then one day, I don't know, maybe the glitch got fixed. But I was never able to sign in again. And I was kind of pissed off about it, but it was good while it lasted. I think it was the best for me because I kept looking like I was looking too much. Like I had other stuff to do. Why am I looking, ask him questions, see that he's lying, and then I'm still sitting here. Like I'm still sitting here, still going here like, what? So it was basically like you looking and finding stuff for what reason? Because you're not going to do anything anyway. So what? What's the point? But yeah, he was a, a mess. Like, I have a lot of stories with him, too. That's going to be it. I'm going to save that one for another story time because that story time is going to be long. And, mm mm. But that was it. Yeah, that was the time that the Instagram and Facebook little thing, little glitch happened. And I got signed right in. Ladies, let me tell you something. Try it one day. <laughs> Try it and see. Try it and see if it works. Like, you never know. So I can go to their house, sign into their Wi-Fi, log out your Instagram, put sign in through Facebook, see if that should go. If it go, you good. If it don't, then don't do it. Don't do it. Like, it, it's funny if it does go through, but, like, you're going to have to stop yourself from not looking at it because... <laughs> That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Your whole relationship is gonna go like this. Trust me, I know. I stay with him after that. It really was for the best. But, everybody make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, Congrats to me on my 100 subscribers. It's only been, I think like, a week and a half at this point but i'm so happy i hope to get more subscribers and i also um changed my intro so tell me how you like that also um i'm gonna put all the information about the intro to the bio um like what song it is and stuff like that all down in my description so please make sure you look please go follow me on instagram at dynasty love um also get my book on amazon today uh i will leave that in the description also let me know what else you um you guys want me to do i'm just gonna keep doing more story times for right now i still need to finish editing my um the spicy noodle mukbang that one is funny so 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 funny but i'm still like getting in a groove of editing this stuff so just give me some time. I'm learning. I'm I, like any spare time I have, I've been trying to figure out stuff as much as possible so that I can have more content up um, often. Um, I have to stop talking so much because I talk a lot and then I be looking at the videos and that should be like 25 minutes. I'm like, how the freak did I even talk for that long? So then I'm editing, 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 editing. But if I knew how to stop talking so damn much, Maybe it'll be easier for me to edit my damn videos. I want to give y'all good content, but I know like a lot of us don't have mad time to be sitting here watching a whole bunch of videos. That's a half an hour, 25 minutes long. Who, who I think I am putting videos like that up? My videos need to be between 10 and 15 minutes. My dog is tweaking. I'm sorry. I got to keep looking at him because he be bugging out. Well, bye guys. You was something special. You was something special. I could tell by when I met you. Good convos, but the wordplay kept a section. Intellectual, I was nervous when I stepped in. You told me what you ain't like and what's acceptable.